doesn't read media. Alright, what's the next uh from uh I'm loving this typo from the Lost Angeles Times where I feel like I'm living. Uh did the Los Lost Angeles Did I put Lost Angeles? You did. I love it. From the Los Angeles Times, are you familiar with it? <laughs> I feel like I'm about to pitch a religion. Are you familiar with a new phenomenon called churn? Data suggests it's becoming harder for media and entertainment companies to retain subscribers as competition increases. The problem is that because they're so easy to cancel, those services are seeing a lot of people leave after they finish watching the shows that convinced them to sign up in the first place. That phenomenon, known in the industry as churn, Churning. I thought this was about butter. I'm bummed. Uh, known as churn, uh, uh, according to a survey of uh, 1,100 people in October, 46% of respondents canceled at least one streaming service in the last six months, which is a dramatic increase of the 20 per from 20% who said a similar uh, uh, thing in a in a poll last January, January of last year. Uh, of the people surveyed who canceled a streaming subscription, 62% did so because they finished the show they were looking to watch. That's churn. Have you ever churned? Butter. Are you but a churner? No, I've never. I'm, I have Tina, every, Tina every subscription that I, can, I have. I can, I can Tina Churner. I'm done. Go I, on. I mean, it Answer wasn't funny, question. but I, I give you a break. Yeah. The, uh, I mean, Joe Ryan's probably like, yeah, that wasn't funny, Amy. But we'll see. But the, yeah, I thought we were friends. The... I never knew that that's what it was called or what people are trying to call it, but quit trying to make churn happen. I, I yeah, I feel it. like this is, uh, maybe, I, maybe is an industry thing. Like a but fair I've weather fan, like you own And it. I don't think I will, but. Like, it's like when people like with the Mandalorian, it's like I got on Disney Plus mainly for the Mandalorian. Now that season two is done, I'm going to cancel Disney Plus and wait for the Mandalorian because they make it so easy to cancel. And that's what people are doing. They're, um, they're just bouncing on and off of these subscriptions until their favorite show comes back to I save the money. I don't think I've ever done this. A lot of people do it, yeah. I'm not saying people don't They're called say quitters. nobody does it. <laughs> I can only speak from my personal life experience, Chris. But you said you don't You do not do that at all? You just keep the... No, I mean, I mean but whose okay. password are you using, really? I'm honest. That's the real thing. I don't <laughs> think I pay for streaming services. I paid for Hulu for a while, but then I found out my brother has Hulu, and I just stole that. Oh, breaking yeah, news. Yeah, uh, but I think, honestly, if there's a show I really want to watch on a streaming service I mm -hmm. don't have, I don't watch it, or I bug a friend to it's let still, me borrow their yeah. password to still, watch it. Still a password, yeah. Yeah. And, and but spe honestly, speaking I, of which, you're, you're so messing much... up my algorithm on my Netflix. You need to relax. Well, that's why the... Netflix is the real MVP because they let you actually like pick your own little, you get little, your little face yeah. and then you get to go. <laughs> Don't show the rest of my family what I've yeah. been watching. Yeah, uh, that, that private browser <laughs> on Netflix, yeah. that 361 DNI. Oh, breaking news. We have uh, uh, Joe, Joe Ryan does approve of your Tina Turner joke. So, oh, hell yeah. So, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with that guy because <laughs> it was not uh, funny. It wasn't funny, but, you know, we're all just doing our best these days. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I don't churn. Now, everything Listen, that I subscribe to, I promise I kept it. jokes. I didn't promise good jokes, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Read my contract. Waka, waka, uh, waka. But the uh, – <laughs> no, I've, no, I've never done that. I've, I've always uh, – I've everything that I've subscribed to, I'm still a part of, unless if – if I feel like, you know, this isn't for me or I'm not getting what out of it what I thought it was going to be, then I'll cancel it for uh, for good. But I'm, I'm yeah. still with Netflix. I've still got Hulu. Yeah. Um, all of HBO Max. I'm loving it. Um, Honestly, if if there's some there's so much media mm -hmm. out there that I feel like if there's something I was thinking about watching and it's not on the streaming service I have access to, I just move on. Uh, uh, so in the live chat, uh, is it Woo Boy or Whoa Boy? It says uh, I got rid of DC Universe after I finished watching Swamp Thing. DC Universe turned out to be a huge ripoff when because it was like you have HBO, you have DC Universe, you have HBO this, what another HBO one, and then HBO Max came out that had 
all the the stuff that you could get on the previous apps so it was like why am i still paying for a dc universe when it's going to be on hbo max anyway and i get all that other extra stuff why am i it's like warner brothers had like four or five different apps and all of them some of them did all the same stuff i was like you're you're ripping us all off just put it all on hbo max so uh eventually i think uh eventually didn't dc uh, isn't dc universe isn't that gone guys help me out in the live chat let me know is is dc universe still a thing or did they did they cancel that uh that app because you can get that on uh, hbo max now but um but i guess all that to say especially as there are more and more so services now. it's so expensive. i could see doing this moving forward oh here's can, the thing I, it's like between like stealing passwords and like i've paid for hulu before and some stuff but it's like really it's like you get like Prime, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Netflix, maybe HBO. But like all of a sudden it's like, okay, I could see, I could see writing that off as like, I'll pay the, you know, whatever, eight bucks because it's worth it for me to watch these couple of things and I'll right. get that done in a month or two. And I'm so, I get it. I just personally haven't done it. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't either. I, I've, I pretty much stick with it and let less. I realized, you know, what? Hey, I can get it. I can get this same service somewhere else, and then yeah. I'm not getting what I, what I want out of it. And then I just move on. I'm sorry. I'm I'm checking something on my phone here. I realized cool. that. Uh, I, <laughs> but if you guys, is, I don't know. Churning, I don't know. I don't. I don't. There are some people out there who are like, I'm only gonna hop on here for a hot second, binge watch this thing, get in, get out, bada boom, bada bing, right? Which so, I think is going to, because they're going to figure out a way to stop that. Becomes so saturated, I think we're going to see more of that, and I think it is going to make things like it's part of why Netflix's, you know, roster is such a good idea. Because like we all got on Netflix because it's like, well, I want to watch like The Office or Parks and Rec or West Wing or whatever's on there, and like right. that's my comfort show, and it's worth it for that. Exactly. And as those are disappearing, it's like, well, okay, even if. There's, you know, the thing that comes out this week doesn't interest you. There's another movie coming out next week. Yeah. Well, the, I can't, the, oh, yeah. You're not going to, you know, cancel it. You you have to, you, uh, these services are going to have to figure out how to set themselves apart and make themselves. Well, well, uh, HB, well Disney Plus and HBO Max have, have pretty much started to do that. Now that WandaVision and all these other shows are starting to, to come out, uh, pre uh, pretty soon it's going to be like back to back. You know, after uh, yeah. like some of these shows are going to be going on, you know, on the same week after WandaVision on Friday, then Winter Soldier, maybe Saturday or something like that. Some of these shows. I, are, or, oh, go ahead. I wonder because Disney Plus has certainly been doing it. I wonder if we're going to see a push towards week to week releases as opposed to dumping everything in one go. Yeah, that's what Disney Plus to, is doing now already. With uh, That's what I said. Yeah, Disney Plus is it, but I could see more streaming services not netflix necessarily because Net they... netflix has decided that that's their thing binge watch because they have yeah. so many uh yeah they uh, don't have to worry yeah, but these newer services yeah. i could see them going this show is our bread and butter yeah. we have 10 episodes we can at least milk people's money for yeah. two months instead of oh one. yeah <laughs> two, uh, 2021 when when hbo max announced that these movies these movies that were slated for theaters are now coming on uh, hbo max look mm -hmm. how they spread it they spread it out it's like, well, I was going to get rid of HBO Max after I watched this movie, but now this other movie I might be interested in is coming out in March or something, so I might as well yeah. keep it. They, they, yeah. They're they like milking it and, and thinning it out for the whole year. That, that's what that's the plan. That's a that's exactly what's going on. And uh, they're smart for doing it. That's that's yeah. a, because they don't they don't have the um, the the quantity that Netflix is, pu is pumping yeah. out because they're starting from scratch. Even Netflix didn't have all that going on that first year yeah. when they were streaming. So they, they had to build. And now that HBO Max, Peacock and all these other shows are, I mean, ne um, streaming services are pulling their content away from Netflix and taking their mm -hmm. stuff back for their own thing. Uh, Netflix, they're like the geniuses they are, they saw the writing on the wall. They were like, that's why we have to uh, kill the game with all of our original content, content because everybody else is taking their stuff away from us. Yeah. So Netflix is going to be fine. They're, they're going to continue to do the binge thing uh, for the 99% the, yeah. uh, of their stuff. But you're right. HBO Max, Peacock, um, uh, Amazon Prime. I think Marvelous Miss Maisel is a week yeah. by week thing, right? Take a, li take a little. You know, Just take a little bit. Money. It's like it's like crack. You know, don't, Money, please. <laughs> don't, yeah, yeah, exactly. Only, only the first sample is free. Now you got to yeah. pay. But uh, uh, <laughs> let me know, guys. Are you a churner? We did a make one of those yeet churn 
videos that's been you're going you know, you know anything about that the yeet yeet you don't know anything about that that uh, you don't listen to to today's hip hop i understand you're not as hip as i am the 40 year old guy on this end but uh I think that uh, you guys, yeah, let us know what you guys th- are, are doing. Are you guys the kind of people that just, I just keep the subscription? Or are you like Amy? Yeah, I'm going to cancel that shit. And, uh, <laughs> I said I don't. I'm lying. She's lying. Mm-hmm. She is lying. Let us know what you guys think and put it in the box below. And <laughs> if you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to the channel and please drop a like on this video. It really does help us. Also, don't forget you can turn on notifications so you don't miss a single review, react, why is that trending, or we got your mail.